Good morning everyone. Readjusting as I always do. Okay, how are you all? I hope you've been finding treasures. I have been pretty good from that last huge haul I did. I've been pretty good. I did go to one, I think I told you about last video, got to spend a dollar. But then on Thursday, I had an appointment over near my favourite op shop in Ballina. So it dragged me in there again. I, I don't know. I, I may need an intervention. I don't know. But anyway, I love doing it. It, it gets my uh, vibes up high, especially when I find good stuff. The stuff I found was pretty good. I'm happy with one of them particularly, and I'm going to share with you now. So before I go ahead, I'm nearly, I live in a big bus, 40 foot bus, which you're going to see straight after this video because I've been, people have been asking, can I have a look at your bus, can I look at your bus, it's coming straight after here, so you've got to watch all this, you're not allowed to, not allowed to fast forward, you got to watch all this and then you can watch that. I was going to make these all go to my other channel, but I thought no, I'm going to be kind and I'll put it on both channels, so you're welcome. Now, I live in a bus with four grandkids, two dogs. Oh, my husband. I better mention him, my husband as well. He's the, he's a chief cook and bottle washer. No, he's not the bottle washer. He's a chief cook and the driver. Um, so four grandkids, 16, 14, 12, and 10, and two dogs. But one is barking, it barks at everything. And a cat and a bird, which you'll see in my little video in a minute. So <laughs> stay tuned. So on Thursday, the appointment. Uh, just up the block, up the road, around the corner, was my favourite op shop, so I went in there. What did I get? Well, I'm a vintage person, you know I love vintage, so I did get some vintage. Okay, I lost you, my camera fell off, it's a little tripody thingy thingy, my special one, I left in the car again. Okay, so what did I get at the op shop? Okay, I got a vintage, vintage little purse. It's a vintage retro, it was $2.00. Um, it was two dollars. I'm just making sure everything's working. And a lovely look, little purse, probably 1980s, I think. The or even maybe even 70s, I don't know. But with a lovely um, plastic clasp, wooden grain looking type thing. That will be going on my in my vintage shop when I get it set up. So yeah, it's happening. Along with all the other hundred things I've got to do all the time. Now, I love this. This was also, I think this is 70s. I have a feeling 70s or 80s. It's got the zipper. It's got the metal zip, which you don't get very often now. Um, it was only 20 cents. a little makeup bag. Clean. Clean as. I don't think it was ever used. So I thought that was really cute. Very tempted to keep it. But I don't go anywhere where I need to. Um, so it'll be on my shop site. Isn't it gorgeous though? Madame. So it's made of hessian with the leather, with the vinyl. Um, trimming on it so that was my I think that was all I got for my vintage shop I did buy some shoes for me because they've got a vintage vibe my, not my color at all but they've got the vintage vibe and on my new my okay I've got three channels I don't know call me stupid one is for my travel bus living type thing and the other one is for vintage only vintage because I love vintage it's my my thing it's what I started this channel with but now it's gone to everything so I've done a separate channel called um pretty rusty okay so that's what these anyway so i got these because i want to do theme days where i'm going to be doing my videos with different themes so that's my 70s theme another theme i got was um this really cute 40s sort of style theme top for me the other day i got this gorgeous victorian style which i've got to take all the bling off victorian style top for me i'm taking all the bling i do not do bling at all but some other lady was eyeing that off because it's a lovely top and it's made by living doll so i think it might be a good brand i don't know i haven't looked at that brand and i also got this one which gives me a really these are only two dollars too by the way this gives me a very um 30s vibe i mean the neckline's not but look at the shoulders I'm going to have to share this on my other channel. They're so cool. Okay, so that's why I got them. Then, 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 then. Before I, Actually, before I walked in the door, when I walked in the door, they had all the DVDs out there. And, you know, I've sort of this got this DVD thing happening now. But I'm very, being very particular. They had some that I should have probably got, but I didn't get. Hillbillies. So I love the Beverly Hillbillies, but I left it. But I got Doctor Who for $6. All there. All in there. I'll make sure they're all in there. I presume they are. So I got that one, but I really, really, really love this one. This one has got the 3D plastic alien skull thingy happening. I don't know if it's a skull or whether it's an alien. But yeah, all the DVDs are in that one too. So that was pretty good. I thought I've got two Doctor Whoites in my family. My husband and my second daughter love Doctor Who. Then up the books, because you know what I'm like, I'm a shocker. I picked up all these ex-library books, but they're all westerns. So I picked up, they're 50 cents each. And you know I can't pass a book up for 50 cents. 
and I've got heaps of them. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So if anyone's into Western, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen books. So one of them has I didn't I didn't notice till after, but it's got a bit of a bit rough page. This one here's got the pages that are a bit rough looking, but I'll just put that. I'd say it's been wet at some time. So I might not even pull that put that in there. I might just put it in and yeah, just let them know. The Rex Library, in good condition. 50 cents each. I don't know where I'm gonna put them actually. I'm gonna have to maybe have two shops. No, I'm gonna try and have one shop. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. It's all up in the air, but anyway, it'll happen. Okay, then I've got this other book too on the front counter, which I love because I love using papers for different crafty things, so I might end up keeping that one. But it will depend on if, how much it's worth. So a lot of people do that. I'll probably sell it. I'm not in the craft. I haven't crafted for ages. I'm not ready for crafting at the moment. I make some money. This was good. I hope it's real. I hope someone can tell me. Okay. It is um, NBA. This is $2. NBA shirt with, um, what does it say, Washington on the front of it, two at the back, and wall at the back. Is it a, a famous? I don't know. Anywho, I hope that's real and I hope it's worth something. I have no clue of this stuff. I'm going to have to message one of my mates and ask if it's, if it's a real one, <laughs> if it's worth anything. But what I got excited about, and this is what I'm going to show you before you go and have a look at my bus. My bus, I'm going to show you the messy bus in the morning and then what it looked like when I finally cleaned it, which is a very rare thing. Okay, you ready? But what was exciting about this, this is a 2015. But what's exciting about this is it's got Delta's signature, Delta Goodrums. Oh, where is it? Yeah, and Ricky Martin's and the Madden Boys. Joel and Benji Madden's signature. It has got a stain on the bottom. A little stain there, as you can see. But, um, yeah, I got the voice signatures. So that could go for the voice fans. It could go for Delta fans. It could go for Ricky Martin fans. It could go for the Madden fans. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to put on it. But what was interesting, I shared it on our group the other day. And someone said, hey, did you get that in Perth? I said, no. Did you get it from a salvo? So I said, yes. Perth is on the other side of Australia. I used to live there as a kid. My father still lives there. My two half-brothers still live there. I'm way over the other side of Australia, New South Wales, in a place called Bal near Ballina. That's where I got it. So I found out that they send all their bits from different shops to different places, apparently. This person saw it, picked it up, realised they didn't have their wallet and left it behind. I got it over here. So that was an interesting story with that. That's it guys, here we go. I probably should have done a second video, but should I? No, I think you can have a watch it now. So have fun guys, don't forget happy hunting. Don't forget, I'd love you to comment at least. Love it if you liked and love it even more if you subscribe, but you know, just leave a comment. A comment, I will reply to comments. I love my comments, it makes me know that I'm doing something okay. So enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you next time, happy hunting. See you next time. Bye. Well, this is the mess I have got to clean up. Everyone's left me for a few days, which is exciting because I get my brain back for a bit without being having to do any taxi service thing or anything. But down here is where the kids have just vamoosed out of the bus in excitement and left all this for me to sort out. And the kitchen. I'm sorting out at the moment and the food that hubby cooked and burnt last night for the dogs to have today uh, was supposed to be our stew last night but yeah this is going to look awesome when I'm finished I don't think I've even gone up the front the front's embarrassing I hate the front part of my bus because it's always messy it's got the air con which we can't even use at the moment it's got the bird cage which we got the blanket for to cover it's got all my stuff up by the sill and it's got Mr. 10 and Miss 14's clothing, which she for some reason is not leaving in her basket. Yeah, this is the mess I'm going to be cleaning up. Enjoy that and stay tuned for the nice, clean, tidy bus. Today's the day you get to see my bus because it's tidy. Here's the two dogs <laughs> it's Kovu, it's my daughter's dog, and Gypsy. Gypsy, say hello. Kovu, hello. There's also a cat, but the cat's hiding. He goes under the bus every day. As soon as he gets outside, he goes and hides under the bus and comes in when he wants to. And this is, um, I think I call him Buddy, but they call him Hagrid, <laughs> so I'm not sure. He belongs to Mr. Twelve. 
So yes, he's got to clean the cage out when he gets home. Um, this is the beginning of our bus. Okay, this is what my kids do not, we do not fold. We have no room to fold. My kids do not, I've not folded for years because as soon as I fold, they pull it all out. So, um, Captain sits there. We have the aircon here because in some of the kids' area here, it gets very hot. So, there's a few things I'd like to say. If you're going to be building a bus, one, make sure you've got aircon through the whole bus. Make sure your bus is fully lined. Okay, that's the two things I recommend for everybody. You will find as you... If you get a bus, um, my opinion is make sure you put down everything you want in it if you're going to do up your own bus, but then go and ask everyone what they've done, especially someone who's had three buses because what I've found is most people who've got one bus, they usually go to the third bus. Anyway, before I go into that, this is the kids sleeping. Oh, there's, there's Des. That belongs to Mr. 16. Um so yeah this is the kids area there were curtains on both these but the pole fell down she's got to get a new cur curtain rod and this is the two boys one's taking his blanket with him yes they're away they're away for three nights and three days do i sound excited i've actually cleaned the bus now you would have seen in a minute no before i did this you might have seen it i don't know if i'm going to share it it's so embarrassing but i've actually tidied up the bus and this is how it will stay while they're away so that's really good now as a reseller I have boxes everywhere and these are going to be sitting under the under the table with the other boxes. Um, these are the books I'm selling that I picked up really cheap. Mr 16 sits here and plays his games so it's only when he's not here that I get to sit here. All the curtains and all the cushions I actually had to do. There was cream coloured cushion, uh, pillow, cream coloured everything in here and I changed it to more my style which is the bright colours. Some of the curtains do need a wash. Okay let's go back to my kitchen. Now we've got a thermi which I'm really slack in using so I don't cook. So my husband cooks every night so thermi doesn't get used, he doesn't know how to use it yet so he will learn. There's our water machine which has saved some foul tasting water over the time and sometimes you go to it's really revolting but he doesn't think the kitchen's big enough, I think it's ample. But he thinks it's too small but he knows he's the cook. Um, a little convention oven does microwave and normal cooking and our gas stove we use when we are not on power so yeah that's that that area yeah i've got to give it a clean okay this is our bathroom now we've got a sink and a mirror and shower which is all stainless steel one thing to do if you have a going to be doing your own bus please make sure you get an event in the shower our doors don't like our doors have got gaps on the top and bottom but you need to have a vent like the guy who made this bus i don't think was thinking about a lot of different things um when he made the bus he didn't put any windows open windows only open window we had in the bus in the beginning was the one where the captain sits we've had to put all these windows in both sides opening windows to let some air through the kids area don't have windows and that's one thing we wish we had okay this is my pantry and i'm going to show you this this is i leave that rubber fl flooring there because that's where i do my exercise i get in here i should be doing yoga i did it for a while i've got to get back into it I'm not very good at it i'm just learning on youtube but um yeah this reminds me i've got to get in and do my planking i'm up to two minutes two minutes two minutes ten at the moment so i've been doing it for a few weeks and i'm just building up building up and i also do some other exercise every day so i do that twice a day um, this is our loo, which I didn't shut. Ouch! I'm not going to show you my loo. Anywho, he's got all the kids' stuff there. Hopefully, it's interesting because they'll actually ask me a question of all this sort of stuff. Not so much the math, but they do ask me questions about that. Um, yeah. So I'd say they they can sit and learn. Like well, they could do something else and learn too. <laughs> so they sit and learn. Um, I have all their homeschooling stuff packed up here i made this little thing as well for their books but it's a bit of a mess at the moment yeah so in these cupboards so i'm going probably a bit too fast for you in these cupboards and i'm going to show you now this is going to probably go on two channels it's going to go on my my um flipping boomer channel and it's also going to go on the aussie boomer channel so it's going to be a bit of a mix so everything in here is all our clothes right this is all our dressy clothes which we very rarely wear and bits and pieces that I'm selling and our file of all our important documents and stuff like that and it's actually not too bad at the moment it has been worse but this is where I've stored heaps of stuff that I'm selling <laughs> and it's also got some of my craft stuff in here too so 
I haven't had a chance to craft. I'm just not in that. I'm in a different frame at the moment, so I'll get back to that eventually. This gear here is everything I've got to go outside and take photos of very shortly. And this is our room. Okay, it's 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 messy, tidy because this is, I've just organised everything. This is the stuff I've got to share on my YouTube channel. Um, I have some of my oils here. I'm a bit of an oily. And I have my favourite oils and I've just pinched some of my husband's space in my craft bag. <laughs> so I was crocheting crazy last year. These are my, most of these are from the wooden panel to the wooden panel <laughs> are all my books that I may or may never get to read. In that cover there is stuff that belongs to stuff that I could find at op shops I want to keep. And in that cupboard is my clothing and plus stuff that I've got for sale. And that's his, that's his side over there. So I've got more stuff because I'm more of a hoarder. He's just doesn't, he's not into everything I'm in. So I've got hooks everywhere. And this is our dressing table, my dressing, my dressing table, I should say. It's my mirror and all my junk and all my stuff that I've got to resell <laughs> down there. These are things I've got to list shortly. So that's why I've got it semi-organized. So we're going to go back up here. So that's what, my bus looks so cool. I don't know if I've shared what I did this morning, I probably will. Well, anyway, I might be do it before, I might do it after, but it was a mess this morning. So this is how it's going to look for me for a little bit, so for a few days. Now, as I was going to say, make sure you go back. If you're going to build your own bus, put down everything you want, but go and ask people that have got their third buses. If I had, my, We have already designed our next bus if we ever had a chance to have another bus. There'd be a lot of things that were different about it. One, one of the most important is air conditioning throughout and fully lined. So... Um, there were other things I was going to tell you, hi Des, but yeah, that's the main thing. So I'll probably think of other things to tell you later on, but, and I might put it on here or in the comments, I don't know, but there was lots of things that having a bus, um, definitely change it. I probably have my ceilings. Another thing I'd have is my ceilings raised. My, my youngest son, thankfully doesn't live with us because he's six foot, six foot seven, six foot eight. So he's actually got a bend his shoulders, his head down onto his shoulders to get down here. Like he's sort of, yeah, you, you get my meaning. So it's not easy. And my, my granddaughter's boyfriend, he's tall too. He always hits his head. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's one thing I'd have, a sort of a raised roof. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I know a few have been waiting to see. Um, here's more stuff I've got a list right here, right there. I've got to take that out the back, um, out the front later and list all that. And I'm going to show you where we are, which some of you have probably already seen. But that down there, the boxes of stuff I've already listed, or I'm about to list. And yeah, so I missed 14, went through 15, went through 14, went through her clothes last night. But we're in a really nice spot at the moment. I mean, I just love that tree up there. And I'm going to be taking photos soon. Um, we're in a private area. I don't know if you noticed, we're in a quite a tilt, a bit of a tilt too. So. It's, Bit of a drunken sailor time which i said on the other previous video on my other on my aussie boomer page but um they're doing work up in the oval that's where we were down there they're doing no sorry not doing work they're having a function in a week so they said just come down here that way we're not having don't have to move again but yeah we're on a little bit of a slant it's not the worst slant we've been on but it's probably the worst longest time slant we've been on anyway guys enjoy that i hope you do see you